What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Uh, welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Virgo, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a true hidden persona, Virgo, for August of 2022. This is to resonate if you have Virgo in any aspects of your charts, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or so many energy of your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave rest. Free general collective reading for Zana Virgo. I encourage everybody to check out their sun, moon, rising, and north node signs for additional message or messages as well. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you think anyone else would like the channel, please feel free to share it on uh, social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Love you guys. Okay, so I received one channel message as I was meditating on your energy. And I heard uh, someone is about to receive a uh, shocking phone call soon. Uh, not you. And this is what somebody doesn't want you to know. So this, this is true hidden. So someone is about to receive a shocking phone call soon. Not you. So obviously I'm assuming that's what somebody doesn't want you to know. Somebody's about to receive a shocking phone call soon. And it's not you. So you plug in how it resonates for us. Love you guys. Spirit messages you have for a sign of our day. A Virgo tarot reader. Oh, excuse me. A Virgo tarot reader and a Capricorn tarot reader are about to shut their uh, public platform tarot reading channels down soon. A Virgo tarot reader and a Capricorn tarot reader are about to shut their public platform tarot reading channels down soon. So this is what somebody doesn't want you to know. I'm presuming it's an, uh, either a Virgo tarot reader and you're not a tarot reader or you're a tarot reader and it's another Virgo tarot reader. How that resonates Virgo. This is what somebody doesn't want you to know. Another Virgo tarot reader or a Virgo tarot reader or and a cat or and or a Capricorn tarot reader is about to shut their public online tarot reading platform down. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, obviously, they, they don't want you to know this. I guess they're not making, um, they're not um, succeeding or gaining the revenue or income from it than they had hoped to do. How that resonates and applies. Casket, someone is going out of your life for the end of the situation. Ladder, climbing towards success. Book. A false contract is coming to an end, and a lawsuit is about to occur. A false contract is coming to an end, and a lawsuit is about to occur. So this is what somebody doesn't want you to know. The end of a situation in this aspect is um, some, some kind of false contract ending, and uh, um, a false contract ending. So it's whoever this is for, I don't feel you were in the false contract. I feel it was somebody else, some kind of false contract energy. So it's not breach of contract. It was a false contract to begin with, and that is ending. So this is, I'm assuming you were not in false contract, or some you could have been, but this is what they don't want you to know. So you plug it in how it resonates. And a child is about to move out. One, they're about to run away. One, they're moving in with a friend. And a child is about to move out. One is about to move away. And one, they're moving in with a friend. So uh, the child doesn't want you to know that one, they're about to move out with a friend. And one, they're about to run away. So um, that's death of to the situation. And they're going, they're moving out. Of, it sounds like they're in your home or somebody you're connected to. Home. But one of these, two, I'm feeling minor energy, like 17 or below. One, they're going to move in with a friend. They don't want you to know this. And one, um, they are running away. So, bless their heart. I hope, I hope everything works out. Ladder, climbing towards success.
A Scorpio masculine is becoming infatuated with a Virgo. Younger Virgo. One year model, one year tarot card reader. A Scorpio masculine is becoming infatuated. Uh, one you guys, your model, one your tarot card reader. This is what the Scorpio masculine doesn't want you to know. He's becoming infatuated with you, which is obsession. And obsession is never healthy for anybody. And that's just the truth. I heard infatuated. So one of you guys, your model, and one your tarot card reader. Um, he's becoming a, a, a obsessed with you. Hopefully he doesn't start stalking or lurking you or uh, do something crazy. Um, Whoever this Scorpio masculine is, you can have Scorpio in a sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Moon, Haven, Jupiter charts. One, you're a model, and one, you are a um, tarot card reader. Heavy tarot card reader energy in here. Heavy. Um, for some, I feel you could be Instagram model, or a casting couch model, or whatever, whatever model. Maybe you're a hand model. Uh, I'm not sure. But I think you're being successful in your career, or you're going to become successful in your career. And that's probably why he's obsessed with you, because I think whoever the Scorpio masculine is, he's obsessed with looks, clout, fame, status, notoriety, etc., 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 is my presumptive logic and reasoning here. But I think you are becoming very successful, Virgo, but he doesn't want you to know that he, he's obsessed with you. And I think it's because you are becoming successful, and he likes the clout, fame, status, career, notoriety, being on somebody's uh, arm, or having somebody on his arm, rather, that is very, like, in the public eye, and uh, very uh, well-known and well-liked, and what, ha what have you, what have you. And he wants to have that person on his arm. I, but I heard infatuated, so I just hope he doesn't do something crazy to you. Um, I've had a lot of crazy people in my life, so just be safe. Book. And for one, this Scorpio masculine is a serial killer. He does definitely does not want you to know this through many shocking series of chain events when you're going to find this out. Heavy Scorpio masculine energy in here, okay? And for one of these Scorpio masculines, I heard he's a serial killer. A serial killer, man! Like, ah, 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 ah. Heard through many shocking series of chain events, when are you guys going to find out? So, obviously, he doesn't want you to know he's a serial killer. Oh, my God. So, um, yeah. Um, that would ruin his plans, and you obviously would not view him in a positive light if you knew he was a serial killer. Yeah, I'm sure he doesn't want you to know that. But I heard through many shocking series of chain events, um, when are you, you're going to find out. So you plug it in how it resonates. Book. Someone has been burning evidence. Some receipts, some letters, love letters. Someone has been burning evidence, some receipts, some uh, love letters. So um, this is what somebody don't, doesn't want you to know. Someone's been burning evidence. I heard some receipts and some love letters. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I feel the love letters could be um, uh, towards you. Um, for, I mean, not towards you. I think maybe you're in a partnership or a legally mar uh, binding marriage or something like that, and they uh, were writing love letters to a third party sneaky link or a situationship, and they don't want you to find out. Um, so, book, pages, paper, I'm feeling love letters. Uh, I heard love letters, so pages uh, for one, and for one, um, receipts. So, some kind of receipts of something. I'm phys feeling physical receipts, and they're burning them because it's some kind of evidence. Um, they don't want you to know this. I feel it could be hotel receipts, or it could be illegal business receipts, or some kind of receipts, pages, paper, receipts. They're physically burning. I feel for one, you could have a um, fire pit, or they could have a fire pit, or you could have a fireplace, or they could have a fi fireplace, or they could be doing it on stove, like lighting it with a lighter and putting it in the sink. 
how that resonates. For some, you could be, uh, you could find the ashes, possibly. You could find the ashes of these receipts or the ashes of um, uh, the love letters in the fireplace, the fire pit, or maybe the sink. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? That could be the ending of a situation, too, the burning of the evidence. An investigator is investigating disability fraud and workers' compensation fraud. An investigator is investigating disability fraud and workers' compensation fraud. So, this is what somebody doesn't want you to know. Somebody's investigating disability fraud and workers' compensation fraud. Now, you could have frauded somebody, disability benefits or workers' compensation benefits, or somebody else could have. Um... For some, it could be that Scorpio masculine or anybody else. Or you. I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Okay? Love you guys. Hope this helped. And namaste.